And that is my morning routine that I do every morning that basically I've been doing now for probably on a regular basis, maybe two years, two, three years now. Well, me not say that. I'm going to say a little more than that, probably about four or five years. Um, but I haven't done it consistently until up until the last maybe three years, like consistently coming into work, just cleaning down my area because sometimes you have people who will come in on the weekend for overtime and they use, you know, your computer. So, you need me? Yes, you need the original or the Um, the coffee is good. Yeah, give me the coffee. Okay. Thank you. So, you know, and people, they use um, your computer and things like that. And so, you know, you just have to wipe you know, behind others and things like that. So, yeah, but I mean, I know right now the world is kind of in an uproar, you know, with the COVID-19 and I understand it. I'm pretty much like in some aspect, like a germaphobe, like not a severe germaphobe but I started to realize that if someone uses my pen I have to wipe my pen right after they use it if someone touches anything that I need to touch I have to wipe it and so in that sense but I'm not a germaphobe in um, a lot of other aspects but like drinking from people someone putting their hands on my chips like you can have it i i just cannot do that and i've been that way since i was young um and i didn't realize that that was you know being like germophobic like i didn't realize that until i got older and you know i basically was called out on it so but listen you can never be too cautious you know and um we all have our own, you know, Pacific bacteria and things like that. And so you just have to be careful, especially if you're a person with a low immunity. You definitely have to be careful. <clears throat> and the people around you should be careful for you. So, I mean, if you don't feel like you're offending someone just because you're trying to protect yourself um yesterday i was in the supermarket and this young female sneezed and when she sneezed the first time i said okay you know sometimes you your know, sneeze will catch you off guard but then she when i actually seen her sneeze i heard her sneeze the first time i didn't see it i seen it from the side of my eye and then when i turned i seen her sneeze and when I tell you she didn't cover her mouth, she didn't do anything, the spit that flew out of her mouth could, could have fit on a teaspoon. I mean, it was disgusting. And she smirked. She smirked like she didn't feel no type of nothing behind it. It was like she thought it was funny and she was with her daughter and I called her out on it because I thought that was so disgusting like why would you do that and then she was in a vegetable um the produce um section and she just felt joy in what she did and I just was thinking to myself because you know growing up you know we were taught you know certain mannerisms and things like that and pretty much you know I think like a lot of black people pride ourselves on you know, having, you know, um, certain morals and, you know, one of them being that, you know, be respectful in your space. Like, don't crowd up on someone, cover your mouth if you yawn, sneeze, say, excuse me, bless you, and, you know, all of that stuff like that. And to see this young, you know, black girl just sneeze out like that was so appalling like it was so appalling and I just thought to myself like some people are really thinking that you know spreading their germs is funny like licking ice cream and 
licking donuts and all that stuff like that. Like, I don't know what's wrong with some of these, you know, individuals, but I just really want to punch her. Like, seriously, I don't care if she was, she like, she about in her 20s and she was old enough to understand that what she was doing was disgusting. But anyway, I just thought that, you know, I would, you know, speak just a little bit on, you know, what the atmosphere is right now and yeah just be safe you guys i always tell you guys you know just be safe you know just look out for one another it's it's a lot of craziness that goes on in the world that's been going on in the world for forever and it's going to continue to go on but you have to look inside yourself and you know just respect yourself and respect the people around you and you know god willing others will follow you know as well so anyway let me get to work <laughs>